BanjoBenClark.com. I am Banjo Ben, your host here on the website that teaches you how to play mandolin banjo. This week is guitar, and we don't have a flat pick. We're finger styling it this week. I needed a little finger style, and I need a little hymn therapy. I haven't done either one here in 2016, so I wanted to pick one of my favorite hymns. I picked the Fanny Crosby. She has many to choose from, but I love singing this one growing up, and I, I love the words, even the title, Jesus Keep Me Near the Cross. I love that because it's not on me. Like Jesus does everything for me, even keeping me near the cross, and I need it, believe me. If you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube, here in a moment, I'll ask you to come over to the website. Um, I'll invite you to become a Gold Peak member. You can join and have access to hundreds of lessons, just like this one. It's about a 30-minute lesson um, because we have these two versions of this solo that we play, one in 3-4 and then one in 4-4, four, four. so it's a lot of fun. I've got tabs. I also have the MP3 that you can download. Let's jump right into the first 3-4 version of Jesus Keep Me Near the Cross. Let's learn Near the Cross or Jesus Keep Me Near the Cross. This is one of my favorite ones growing up. I'm sure that y'all love it as well. Now we're going to learn really two different solos to this, right? Because we have that uh, first slow ballad presentation that's in 3-4 time like it was written. And then we're going to alter it and go into a 4-4 four, four time. get a little bit more busy, particularly with our bass notes. So you could play you know, either one of these arrangements or put them both together like I did. Let's go ahead and throw up the first line of tab there. A couple things I want you to notice is that beneath each one of these notes, we have our finger directions or our finger indications. So T would stand for thumb. It's gonna be really busy. It's gonna be jumping all over the place. One stands for index. It's gonna be busy too. And two stands for middle. And those are the only three fingers I'm using for this particular song kind of banjo style. I'm going to lightly anchor with my pinky just to give me, uh, let me know where I'm at on the guitar here. Okay, you can really, I guess, use whatever fingers you want, but those are the ones that I use. Also, once you notice, we're in three, four time, at least here at the start. So we have three beats per measure. And then we're in the key of G. So uh, we only have a few different chords that we're going to use. There's a few um, chord uh, alternates that I'm going to, uh, to give you as well. But primarily it's G, C, D. It goes to an A uh, chord and also to um, an A minor. So we're going to start it off with a, a little intro. And I like to do this on my fingerstyle arrangements just to get something that 
and kind of points towards what the melody is going to do and uh, just gives us a starting point. And so we're going to be based out of a G chord, but um, the G chord is not going to be played like we normally do. I just want you to come up and grab that third fret with your ring finger. And we've got four measures of this little intro before we go into the verse. And we're going to start with that thumb. We're going to play through. And then with our middle finger, I want you to grab the second uh, fret of the third string. And here's the key to making this sound pretty. I want you to hold that second fret down all the way through uh, till the second beat of measure two where you need to play the open G string again. Okay, so it will sound like this. Release, down, and you same for measure three. Release, down, measure four, release, down. Just, it sounds really pretty doing that instead of releasing it right after you play it. We're just gonna keep it down until you're forced to bring it up measure two. And then in measure four, it just ends there on a quarter note and I'm just setting the ear up to go to the first melody note, right? Jesus, keep me near. So we've taken them there in the intro, but now we're going to set them up measure four. And so we're going to uh, pinch that together in measure five. And I'm going to play a partial C chord at the end of measure five. And I'm going to think about where my melody is at each time, right? The melody is very plain in this particular arrangement. And so you can go through and just find that melody. And I'm going to try to play a little bit louder than the rest of the notes. Maybe not that loud, but you know what I mean. Measure six. Okay, so our, our melody here in measure six is the first note there on the B string, and then the, the last note on the G string. Let me play measures one through six uh, fairly slowly. We'll play it much slower later on. Pause just a little bit. We'll go into a full C chord measure seven. And right there, you know, the last note in measure seven, I'm gonna do that hammer on. It's an eighth note hammer on. But what I may do is uh, rush that hammer on, push it just a little bit, just to accent that melody note. And then what we're going to do in measure eight is this first, uh, that first beat there, I'm going to go ahead and strum through it with my thumb. So I'm going to kind of put that anchor down and come down and grab it with the side of my thumb and hammer on as well. And then the last note, measure eight, I reach over and grab it with my thumb. You can come up here and play with your index if you want. Measure nine is pretty simple. I'm going to strum through the first beat of measure 10. Our melody notes on the top right there. Go into a partial A minor position for the second beat. And, and I want you to look at measure 10, just the motif that I have going on. The, the melody note is climbing. Bum, 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 bum. What is my bass note doing? Okay, so it's kind of a counterpoint deal, and that's a really effective thing to do when you're uh, doing finger style. Even when you're not playing lots of notes, the melody goes up, bass note goes down. So when you put those together, and then we just add a few harmony notes in. That's really pretty, huh? 